All right. Hi, everybody. Um, this is our YouTube channel, and this is our first video. Um, I'm Shannon Condon, and I'm a speech therapist, and um, I am LSVT LOUD certified, so I'm specialized in the treatment of people with Parkinson's, and my partner. Hi there, I'm Gina, Gina Berger. I'm a physical therapist and I am certified in the LSBT Big uh, Parkinson's therapy treatment. And Shannon and I have been running uh, Parkinson's support groups, although we like to call them education groups because uh, we very much take the empowerment and um, what can we learn about how to live our best lives um, despite having this Parkinson's diagnosis. And uh, Shannon and I have worked together on this, um, gosh, a little over eight years now. Mm -hmm. So we're glad to have you. And I'm thankful to Shannon, who I, I give all the technology credit to always for um, once this quarantine was starting to go on, Shannon was like, we have to do something. We have to figure out how to get to our people. So we have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, we're going to try this. So we're really looking for some feedback on how this works for everybody uh, and if this is easy. We think this will be easy because we can email the links to you. You can just follow the links um, or your family and friends can search for us on YouTube. Uh, so it should, we're hoping it's the easiest way for us to kind of be together without being together. And um, which that kind of leads us to our intent of, of this, um, which is, to find a way to connect with you and for Gina and I even to connect with each other um, during this time that we can't be together since we're not, none of us are really sure when we'll be able to be together uh, in person again. Um, so we are doing things, we're sending out notes. We got some new note cards here that you might be getting in the mail. Um, and so we're really excited about that kind of stuff, but uh, we know that there's nothing like the personal connection um, and then we also know that it's been a long time to not have new exercises and not have new education and uh, kind of new insight or new tips into Parkinson's. So we yeah. Are, so go ahead, Gina. Yeah, we want to bring both of those components to you, both the education uh, as well as some exercise and activity, because. Shannon and I have both found out from personal experience in quarantine how hard it is to exercise alone. Uh, so we hope, hope that you guys are staying active and well out there. And uh, we do look forward to people logging on to our YouTube channel so we can continue to interact and bring both education uh, and exercise. Yep. Um, so that being said, just a reminder, all of our, all the in-person events are canceled right now through May. Um, we'll, as we get closer to June, we'll see how that happens. Um, but we did receive word this week that the Sunflower Symposium uh, in August has been redesigned, I guess is the right word. It will be a virtual um, symposium this year. So um, we had a lot of, I had a lot of great response about the bus trip, um, a lot of great response from potential sponsors, and Gina and I were really looking forward to presenting, um, and we may still be presenting, but it won't be, we won't be taking a bus, we won't be all together in person this year, so 2021, hopefully right. we'll, we'll all be back on track. So those are those are two two announcements we wanted to make sure that we made. So, um, Gina, since we always do things in a positive way, um, why don't we talk about we do a little attitude of gratitude, one of my favorite things. Um, and why don't you tell me three positives that have come from quarantine for you? Oh, okay. So yeah, it is. It's always good to turn things right. Um, things that we kind of think are, oh, no fun or something negative. It's like there's always ends up being some good in every situation, no matter how, how bad it is. So three positives from quarantine. Um, I'd say just number one, we've never had more family game nights and playing cards and just things like that. 
Uh, I taught my kids how to play euchre. Uh, I told them it's a life skill. So uh, that was exciting for, for them to learn. So I got everybody down to the third grader. Uh, so I got four out of my five kids playing euchre. So that was fun. Um, number two, just being home in the evenings. Shannon probably feels that way too. But, you know, usually we're doing carpools, driving all around. And so it's really nice to, to just um, be home. And then um, number three, I, I've really appreciated the other ways to reach out to people. And that's been you don't always have to see people to feel connected and that's happened with my patients and my family uh, as far as zoom meetings like this and i've sent out some cards and made some phone calls that maybe i wouldn't have made um, before that's great those are great um for what me about you shannon <laughs> for what me are your top three for me um one of them is right here uh i think that the, <laughs> i think that all this time at home has uh, been great for all of our pets and it's been fun watching my kids do these Zoom classes uh, and do FaceTime and stuff with their friends and they're all showing them their pets. So I feel like more people have met our pets than ever before. Like Winnie, she's, she's <laughs> loving it, as you can see. She likes hanging out. Um, and uh, so that's one. Um, two is that we have taken more walks of our neighborhood. We like have, um, we live on like a circle drive and we have taken a lot of walks and gotten to know the houses and how many steps and how our pedometers are and um, the dogs have had a great time walking. Um, so yeah, just kind of um, evening walks with the family have been, have been fun. Um, and then I think the other really good thing that's come out of it is that I have a lot of things that I, do not think I will take for granted the rest of my life. Um, there are things that I have, I have come to appreciate that uh, I definitely took for granted my whole life. Um, things from like as simple as um, when I go into work in the morning, I would drink my coffee, walk and drink, or at work I'd walk and drink, but now I'm always wearing a mask, so I can't walk Aww. and drink. And it's so simple, but it drives me crazy and I'm like, I will never <laughs> just walk and drink and not think about it again. Um, and, you know, eating at my mom's house, it's something, um, my mom lives across the street, so it's something we do two, three times a week and I haven't done it for months and I miss her and I miss her table. Um, she still sends a lot of food, so that's been a good thing. But, you know, she drops a box at my door, I drop a box at her door, but Aww. I really miss, um, I will never take sitting in that kitchen for granted again, because I, I miss those things. So I think that's been a good lesson for not just myself, but for all of, all of my kids too. So. Yeah, I agree. Done. That's a really good perspective. Yes. I will no longer take for granted drinking and walking either, Shannon. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just so little, but it's really important. So, um, yeah. so and on that, you know, we definitely want to send a big thank you, a big shout out to all the essential workers um, that are keeping everything going during this time. Um, you know, in home health and nursing home where Gina and I both work, but also the grocery stores and um, all the all the people still making things for us and making sure that we're all provided for. So we're really, really glad to have all of them. And we're thankful for all of you and all of your support. Um, we love getting emails back. Um, I always put Gina and I's phone numbers. Um, since, since all this started, I've put our phone numbers on the emails uh, and we absolutely 100% um, encourage you to call if you have a question or you just need someone to talk to. Uh, we, we, we aren't just saying that we really do because we miss you yes. a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, and, and you can email, call, whatever. And now you can watch, I think there's a way to make comments at the bottom of the YouTube channel. So, um, if you can figure that out, then, then, 
you know, I would encourage you to put the things that you have, uh, the good things that have come out of quarantine for you. So I think that would be great. Wouldn't that be fun to read, Gina? I know. I, I think that'd be super great. Um, so yeah, we would love to hear from you guys, you know, in general. And maybe if you just want to shoot Shannon an email, what's been your best thing about quarantine? Like we can kind of share some of those things because I think the perspective um, that everybody has, our, our situations are all unique, but yet similar. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I really do want to encourage everybody, especially with Parkinson's, it's one of those diseases, you know, Shannon and I always say, your Parkinson's is gonna, you know, keep coming at you. It's the nature of it. So you have to keep going at it. Um, but it's hard to stay motivated and challenged when you can't go out and you can't do your normal things. So if you are struggling with that, please reach out to Shannon and I. Um, that's what we're here for. That's what these groups are for. Um, call us, email us, and we can talk to you about some options for, for therapy and, and what's going on out there. So um, I truly don't let yourself slip to the point where it's going to be harder to get back. Okay. It, it's better to just get on it right away and get started. Um, so if you're starting to feel that way, um, don't let that go on or just call us and, and talk to Shannon or I. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you, you know, it's been long enough that you may have even kind of gotten yourself into a pickle now where it's been too long and you're having trouble restarting, we would be happy to talk to you and talk you through kind of how to restart. You know, it's okay to, to step back from what you were doing and start lower. Um, or maybe you need Gina to come see you home health um, and start there. That, you know, those are all things that we would love to, to help you with because we just don't want anyone um, kind of suffering in, in isolation. So that's not, we're here to, to help you and partner with you and empower you, all of those things, um, whether near or far. So. <laughs> All right. I think, oh, sad, Shannon. <laughs> I think that's, um, I think, I think that's going to be good for our first video. Um, so I want to thank anyone that, that kind of tunes in. And of course my partner in crime, Gina, thank you always. I think we can do, wait, can we do this like virtual high five? Cause oh, yeah, I feel like we try. can almost do it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we can. Although now it's more like fist bump or like my kids have been doing elbow bumps. Oh yeah. That's more hygienic. Oh, oh, <laughs> right. elbow so bumps. Social distance. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the recording okay. now.